and welcome to my YouTube video. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to do Latvian braids worked flat and this is in conjunction with a new pattern out on Ravelry by David Vandekamp. It's called Dunes of Latvia and it's this gorgeous pullover uh, sweater and I'm going to make it. So um, I thought other people might want to see how to do these Latvian braids too. So here we go. I've knitted a little swatch here and I'm going to use two colors of yarn for the braid and I'm going to attach them at the beginning of this row. In order to make it easier what I did was I took these two colors and I put them together as a slip knot. And I'm putting that on my right needle and that'll be dropped off later. It's just to hold them so I can get some tension on the yarn when I start the braid. So I'm going to put one color in each hand. If you feel more comfortable putting one yarn, in, uh, both yarns in the same hand, go right ahead, whatever works for you. But we're going to start out, I'm going to use the yellow as color A and the green as color B. And I'm just going to knit every other stitch, switching every other stitch. Let me move this yarn out of the background. There we go, that's better. So I'm just working, um, rotating between one yarn and the other, knits all the way to the end. Latvian braids are a three row design, or three rounds. There'll be another video um, coming up after this one on Latvian braids in the round. Both are involved in this um, Dunes of Latvia pullover. So I'm just working to the end of the row every other stitch. When we get to where we have two stitches left at the end of the first row, we're going to knit with A, bring A to the front, and knit with B. This allows us to have A in the proper position for the next row. Okay, we're ready to start row two. Our Color B is at the end of the needle. Color A is over here on the other side. So we're going to knit B. And we're going to bring A under B. So we've got to take A over and then under B. This is just for the beginning of the row and knit with A and then B is going to come under A A comes underneath and yes this twists the yarns they're going around each other they're going counterclockwise around each other Just pick up one strand at a time, always from underneath for this row. Let me show you with the other hand. So you pick up the yellow from underneath the green, knit with the yellow. Pick the green up from underneath. Yellow from underneath, green from underneath, until the, you get to the end of the row. So we're ready to start the last row. This is row three. It's on the right side of the fabric now. And we're going to purl the first stitch, which is A, but we're going to bring the yarn under B first, just so we connect that B at the side. Purl A, green under B under A, purl B. A under B, and still we're twisting the yarns 
and notice that A is worked into A, B is worked into B. You're not rotating the colors on each other. They stay consistent for all three rows. And I just drop one yarn and pick up the next. That's really the easiest thing to do. So here we have our beautiful Latvian braid. Let me point out some things here. Notice, for example, the yellow strand that we brought underneath the green is connected to this pearl bump and then it comes this way. The green like this. And so I would say that the point is going to the right the open part of the V is going to the left. Let's look at this swatch. That's what's happening up here. So the point is going this way. The open part is going this way. If we wanted it to go the other way, we would reverse row two and three in how we put the yarn under or over. And if we do it this way, then the point is going to the right, the open V is going to the left. Isn't that pretty? Very cool. So I have another video, if you want to just click over here in a minute, of this same process being worked in the round. If you enjoy my videos, take a second and hit the thumbs up and subscribe and share with your friends. Happy knitting!